AI art is theft and plain stupid. It exists only as a result of exploitation of real art, both without consent or compensation, and its purpose is to undermine the real artist's livelihood, the very giants whose shoulder this corporate art theft machine stands on. AI art cannot be copyrighted, as the prompt engineers who type words into the art theft machine are not the creators of the pieces it spits out. So it's entirely invalid for commercial use, unless of course someone is dumb enough to pay for imagery that no one has rights to. The common misconception, successfully planted in people's minds by the AI artists, that is, crypto bros, is that the AI image generators learn to draw just the same as humans, or that they do exactly what human artists have been doing for thousands of years. That of course couldn't be further from the truth. Whereas real artists learn things like anatomy, shape, value, light and color by carefully observing the real world and existing art, AI doesn't understand any of these concepts. Midjourney, Stable Diffusion and other art theft softwares achieve their results by trying to mimic existing art and match it with the text describing it. The AI image generators were fed with millions of images on the internet, both without permission or compensation to their creators, of course. Upon those images they then built their commercial product meant to undermine the businesses of those artists they stole from, such as myself. They then had their underpaid employees, practically slaves, watch through images of violence and filth and train the AI software on what each of these images depicts. So when an AI prompt engineer, as they call themselves, types a text prompt into the program, it creates an image mimicking pixels from art it was shown that it thinks matches the text prompt. This of course has nothing to do with how humans draw. Now some AI tools are less criminal than Midjourney. Adobe is working on their tool called Firefly, which only uses footage from their stock library and public domain. I tried it for illustrating a Viking Age village in Finland, but as you can see the results are laughable at best. This brings up a larger problem with AI illustration. Real artists are used to doing thorough research for what they illustrate. AI artists, on the other hand, are largely doing it for a quick buck without any prior interest in the craft. Now, illustrating something like a Viking Age village in Finland requires quite a bit of knowledge on the subject. Professional illustrators study archaeological finds, go to museums and read research papers to gain an understanding of what it could have looked like. This is simply unachievable with AI, as it understands none of these things, nor does a typical prompt engineer. Not only are many AI activists no artists, but they're also incredibly obnoxious. I posted a shorter version of the content of this video on LinkedIn, and got surprisingly many messages from people who didn't want to take part in the discussion publicly. And it is no surprise. Here's one prime example of a tech bro's response to a discussion I was trying to have on the subject. That's what they want to do, scare you into silence in their vocal worship of their AI gods. Don't be intimidated and voice your concerns, which this video might hopefully have helped to put into words. It's an important subject that I had to address on this platform as well. But don't worry, we will return to the animated history of Finland in the next video.